Lesson 13 The Rise of the Maratha Kingdom and the Arrival of the Europeans in India Hello everyone today we shall go through the chapter the rise of maratha kingdom and the arrival of the europeans in india during the reign of aurangzeb due to administrative mismanagement there was a deep dissatisfaction not only in the north but also in the southern states of india this disturbed the common life they started looking for peace at that time many saints like ramdas tukaram and shri eknath stirred the flame of unity in marathas who were indulged into internal disputes marathas became aware of their existence and they found shivaji as a great warrior who united all the marathas against the mughal rule let us know about shivaji and his struggles with mughal and sultans shivaji was born in shivaneri fort in 1627 ad he was coronated on 6th june in 1674 His father's name was Shahji Bhosle and his mother's name was Jija Bai. Shivaji aimed to establish an independent state. So he conquered many hilly forts near Pune and built new forts like Raigarh Fort. Now let's know about Shivaji's struggle with the sultans of Bijapur. and ahmednagar the sultan of bijapur sent his general afzal khan with a huge army to kill shivaji afzal khan invited him to his tent and wanted to kill him but shivaji killed him with his intelligence and courage let us know about shivaji's struggle with aurangzeb aurangzeb sent subedar shaista khan to control shivaji but shivaji defeated him too aurangzeb did not like shivaji's attitude and imprisoned him but shivaji escaped from aurangzeb's captivity shivaji was again coronated in raigarh fort on 24 september 1674 and adopted the title of chhatrapati let us know about the administration of shivaji shivaji appointed eight ministers for the administration of his state they were called ashtapradhan the names of ashtapradhans were peshwa prime minister amatya finance minister vakya navis interior minister sachiv secretary somant foreign minister senapati commander in chief pandit rao the high priest nyayadhish chief justice land tax was the main source of income for the maratha state shivaji started collecting taxes called chauth which was 1/4 of the income and sardesh mukhi which was 1/10 of the total income now let us know about india in 18th century in the beginning of 18th century the foreign invasions begin with northwest of india the invasion of nadir shah in 1739 shook the roots of the weak mughal empire and on the other hand in 1761 the invasion of ahmed shah abdali brought an end to the existence of marathas so 
some states like Bengal, Awadh and southern states became independent. During this time, there was no such power that could keep the massive India united. The fall of Mughals, the defeat of Marathas and mutual fight among small states gave European companies the way to expand their rule in India. Foreign trade companies started interfering in Indian politics. India was lagging behind not only in science and technology but also in business and trade. Mughals were totally dependent on the European ships instead of strengthening the Indian Navy. So, European traders or Britishers took advantages of these facilities given by Mughal emperors and Nawabs. Gradually, they became the political master in India and established their rule. It had far-reaching consequences and India remained in the chains of foreign forces for the next 200 years. That's all for today children. Thank you.